I'm sure you've probably seen some logos like this. They are a modern floral design. They usually have some script, maybe some watercolor flower petals, things like that. And they're beautiful, they're stunning. They attract your attention. They look really refined, really premium. And today we're gonna make a design just like that using Kittle. And so if you don't have Kittle yet, go ahead and sign up for free using the link in the description. Then you can follow along with this video. And before we get started, do me a quick favor and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of the up upcoming tutorials here on the channel. So once that's done, let's go ahead and dive into our modern floral logo design. To get started with our modern floral logo, we are gonna start with a frame. So if we go over to abstract shapes, we can scroll down and we actually have a new category called casual frames. Here it is right here. If I click show all, you can scroll through all of these different shapes. We've got rectangles, squares, circles, hexagonal type shapes. For this one, a more circle style is going to work best and I like this kind of hand-drawn effect of the circle. So this one looks pretty good. I'm going to size this up because this is gonna be the base shape for our modern floral logo. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna flip it the opposite direction and then we'll get started with our text. So if you hit the T button, that's the quick shortcut for text. And then we are going to get started with a script style font. A lot of these floral modern logos have script in them. And so we're going to use the words Mary and Vu. That's going to be the brand. And so there we are, we have Mary and Vu. And what I'm gonna do with the V and the U here is make it look like it's attached to that Y. And so I think this is looking really nice like this. I just need to position it a little bit and then we can get started with our subtext. So this is going to be an ethical home goods style brand. I really like the Chereau font for this. We're gonna make it all caps and then we can start playing with how the circle effect will work. So if I hit the circle effect, bring it up here to the top, we can work on some different layouts of where we think it looks good. It could be inside, I think it's better outside. And then what we wanna do is position it. Does it look best up here? Or maybe it looks best on a curve the opposite direction. So if we flip this around, you can use the little point there, little pointer tool to move it around. Then if I hit invert direction, it'll go the opposite way. So then I can turn it back around and now it's legible, it's easy to read now. And I think it looks cool like this in the bottom right. We're gonna space it out a little bit and then make it a bit smaller because this isn't the main focal point, it's a subtext. We want Mary Vu to be there in the middle, uh, bright and easy to see, uh, but we want that subtext to be explaining what it is. So then if we go over to our illustrations, we're gonna find some floral elements in the fine florals category. And so I'm gonna speed up through this process. I'm just finding some florals that I think really work well with this style, these kind of fine florals. I'm gonna position them on the top and right, kind of like a laurel or a wreath, if you will. And then I'm gonna make sure that all of these colors are playing well with a different background style. So I think something like this, this tannish off-white cream is a style that you'll commonly see in these floral modern logos, which I really like. I'm gonna adjust my text just a little bit and then we can move ahead with finding a texture. So I think if we pick through some of these paper textures, we'll find the one that we really like. So I like this one that's like a different kind of grit. And then you can of course play with your blending modes if you want. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this modern floral logo tutorial, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and that red subscribe button. Then let me know in the comments, do you like this style of design? I'm assuming you probably do since you're watching this video, but are you just learning how to do it? Have you been doing it already? Are you as a brand agency or a consultant or a personal freelancer, do you like to do work like this, I would love to know. So drop a comment down below. I'd love to engage with you there. And let's get back to the tutorial. The reason we're gonna do this is because if we go over to abstract and scroll down, we have also this new watercolor area where you can pick different watercolor splotch effects. Like if you had dipped your brush in watercolor and of course put it on paper, it makes this really, really cool watery effect. So this is really gonna make the logo pop. It's gonna bring it all together and you can play with your blending modes over here. So color burn won't really do much on the background color, but you can flip through the other ones and find one that works best for you. I think we're just going to set this to multiply, send it to the back because it doesn't need to be over top of the text or anything. And then we can work with our opacity to get it where we want it. Of course, in watercolor, if you add more water, it's gonna look more faded. 
And so I think this looks good. We're just gonna adjust our colors and add a little bit more of a floral touch here with a different flower. And now, if we want to actually take this logo and build it out into an identity, maybe you're gonna use them in different cases. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we'll make our board bigger, and then we're gonna get started making a different lockup of this same logo. So what we wanna do for that, is take our logo, we're gonna duplicate the text, you can Alt and drag, you can hit the Alt or Option key and drag, or Command C and Command V and paste, and I'm gonna put these words next to each other. So Mary Vu are now gonna be right across from each other and I'm gonna make a simplified version of this logo. So I'm just duplicating different things. I'm still making it in the circle, but it's a little bit simpler. There's not as much going on. I'm gonna find the same style of floral, but it's much, much shorter. I'm gonna make it look like it's part of this uh, arch, just like I did over on the left side. Again, add a different watercolor effect and boom, there we have a more simplified lockup of the logo. But let's do it again. So so what I'm gonna do is do the same thing, but I'm gonna start playing with where the subtext is. And each time we do this iteration, we're gonna get a little bit simpler. So now I'll take the floral element, I'll put it behind, I'll turn down the opacity. Then I'm gonna look for a different watercolor splotch, put it in the back, bring the opacity down, and there we have it. So let's do it one more time. Let's get even more simple with it. So this time, I'm just gonna use the initials. So I'm gonna double click in, I'm just gonna use M and U, and so, or sorry, M and V. And then I'm gonna take the subtext, put it up top, and then I'm going to take some subtext, put it down at the bottom. I've shortened the phrase to home goods, and then we're gonna find a circular watercolor splotch and use that, put it behind, and then mess with our opacity to get it exactly how we want it. And now we have four different lockups that can be used in different areas for the logo. Now, if we just wanna export one, we'll hit Command C on one whole part of the lockup here. So I'm gonna group that together, Command C, and then I'm going to go over into my projects and hit a new project. So there we are. Now I'm gonna hit Command V to paste. And you can see over here, it was it was pasted over here because this artboard is a lot smaller than the one we were just working on, so don't fear. Just drag it over and then you can work with your export settings over here to get the best effect for what you need. So here are our finished lockups of the Mary Vu Ethical Home Goods Modern Floral logo completely designed in Kittle and ready to go. Well, that's all for this video. I have a playlist right here of other helpful videos on modern logo design and principles, strategies, things like that. I think you'd find it helpful. Go ahead and check that out, or you can check out any of the other tutorials we have here on the channel. By the way, if you haven't signed up for Kittle, you can do that using the link down in the description. I'd love for you to get in and start playing with it. It's completely free. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates, features, lives with other people, other collaborators. I'd love for you to see it so you don't wanna miss it. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And by the way, we would love to see what you're working on. And so tag us on social, at Kittle Design. All those links are down in the description as well. You can find us there. Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. We'd love to know what you're working on, how you're using Kittle, and even feature you on our social media. So make sure to do that. Thank you so much for watching and for using Kittle. Until the next video, create magic.